why spending money fast is a must. Some people like to spend money while others don't. Some people have a ton of it and others don't. But spending money, just like every action you take, is something that needs to be reevaluated on a daily basis. Ideally, you should know why you're spending money at all times, for what reason, and how best to go about it to benefit you. In order to do that, you need to understand the purpose behind spending money and why you may want to do so. Spending money doesn't have to be something that we try to avoid. In fact, it can actually be quite liberating if we learn to spend in the right way. Hello and welcome back to another video on our channel, Finance Sense, covering all the latest trends in the financial markets and the economy. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to stay updated with our videos. Without further ado, let's head on to the video. In reality, there are two different kinds of spenders. The first kind is made up of those who cannot stop spending. These are individuals whose next paycheck is already spent even before it reaches their bank account. Then, the non-spenders. These are the kind of individuals who will try to save every single dollar they own. In other words, these are individuals who have adopted a scarcity mindset and are extremely frugal with their money out of fear that they will never be able to earn it back. Most people would agree that the person who gets their paychecks spent even before receiving them is a more financially irresponsible one. However, the second spender can be almost as much of a problem as the first. If you believe that the first spender shows more irresponsibility, you likely have this perspective since you know that excessive spending is one of the quickest ways to wreck your finances. There's a good reason why spend less than you earn is such a practical piece of financial advice. It works. Success in the financial sector will be difficult if you plan on spending every single cent you make. In addition, the accumulation of massive amounts of debt in the form of credit card and mortgage loans to make frivolous purchases, such as a brand new car or a fur coat, will only exacerbate the problem. To illustrate, the average American has a credit card debt of $6,000 at an interest rate of 18%. It would take 41 months or over three and a half years to pay it back if you only pay a minimum payment of $200 each month. And not only will you be paying back the initial $6,000 that you borrowed, but you'd also be paying an additional $2,000 in interest. Of course, spending too much will put you in financial trouble. So if you assume that the first kind of spender, the one ready to part with their cash at a moment's notice, is a guilty one, you're essentially correct. You might be surprised to learn, though, how difficult it might be to refrain from making any purchases at all. Growing up, if you received any financial guidance, it was to save your money. This is the most typical parenting advice that most of us hear, and, to some extent, it is effective. When you spend all of your income on consumer products or on debt repayment, it might be challenging to advance financially. Although being frugal has its benefits, there are downsides as well, which is why your parents might not have been the ideal sources for financial guidance. People who continue to live with a scarcity mindset that has been shaped by being told to always save their money are not truly helping themselves as much as they believe. Simply said, nobody becomes wealthy by saving money. There are some people who only save, but those who apply this method for wealth building must earn a substantial amount of money annually. For instance, let's assume your current income is $100,000 annually. You end up saving $25,000 after paying taxes and expenses. What would you have if you saved $20,000 yearly for the next 50 years? $1 million. You must think that you're wealthy now, right? Not exactly. Inflation is one aspect of this wealth-building strategy that needs to be taken into account. It's fair to state that while that amount of money is still a lot, it most definitely doesn't make someone you would consider wealthy. If we estimate a 2.5% inflation rate, the money won't even be worth $300,000 in 50 years. You may be wondering at this point what you should do with your money. Well, balance is key in life. It's fine to occasionally spend a small amount of money on the things you want. Additionally, you should save money for an emergency fund and keep some spare cash on hand to pay bills and other expenses. However, you should use your money for one purpose, and that is to go out into the world and earn more money for you. The difference between the rich and the poor can be traced back to how each class thinks about and spends money. Generally, people with extra cash tend to adopt a scarcity mindset. 
they're concerned that if they use the money they already have, they might not be able to earn more. As a result, they see no need to part with their money, even if doing so may increase their wealth. Conversely, those with an abundance mindset can generate money at will. They are aware of the fact that taking risks is necessary to reap their rewards and believe that by managing their finances well, they will be able to achieve their desired level of financial growth. Now, depending on your age and degree of financial expertise, you may or may not find it unexpected that your current financial path won't make you wealthy. However, if you're from the second kind of spender, there are four areas where you need to be spending your money if you want to significantly improve your financial situation. First, spend money on getting financial education. Now, increasing your financial awareness will be crucial to reaching all of your financial ambitions. Being financially informed gives you access to new opportunities and ideas. For instance, the concept that you should definitely save every money you have probably sounds like a good idea, unless someone tells you otherwise. In other words, you now have a greater grasp of how money works and how to utilize it to advance toward your long-term financial goals. The same financial improvements can be made by learning new investment strategies or how to negotiate for a raise in your job. Knowledge is power, so you want to have it all when it concerns money. Second, spend money on developing monetizable skills. These are any skills you can use to earn at least $1,000 a month outside your 9-to-5 job. Such monetizable skills include website design, coding, and graphic design. In addition, there are two main benefits to having a skill you can use to generate income. Once you realize you can use your skills to generate income outside your job, your confidence in your ability to generate money will surely increase. You'll know your money wouldn't stop immediately even if you lose your current work. Two, having a monetizable skill will help you earn an extra income that relying only on your 9-to-5 job would never be able to provide. Once you have this money, there are countless ways to increase your wealth and having this money is crucial for the next area you should spend your money. Third, spend your money by investing some of it. Establishing weekly automated contributions to your preferred index fund is the easiest and most consistent investment method. Due to its low time investment and overall returns, this way of investing is shown to be the most effective. Therefore, devote your money to fighting the stock market battle on your behalf. If you choose the appropriate funds to use, they won't fail to provide rewards. Fourth, spend your money on a scalable business. Now, you should be financially informed enough to recognize the limitations on your journey to financial stability. Thus, creating a scalable business is the fastest method to accumulate wealth. Fortunately, you have a lot of different options to choose from. Perhaps you have a skill that you can turn into an agency or a product concept that would be useful to many people. All in all, spending money instead of saving it is what makes people wealthy. Money might be your most effective tool for building wealth if used wisely. It appears that we have reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching this far. Please subscribe and give a like if you enjoyed it and comment your thoughts below. This is Finance Sense, helping you keep up with all the latest trends in the financial markets and the economy. See you next time.